making a watch with arguably the most iconic material from the aviation world would, would, was always a long-term goal. But one would never have thought it possible to try and integrate something using the Wright Flyer. For us, the Wright brothers, you, you just don't get any better than that. If you're a pilot, you've always seen those original photographs of that plane flying. Now, we never thought we'd get anything like this material. We didn't even realize it was out there. It's such a funny story about the fabric from the 1903 flyer because the family always knew it existed. Uncle Lorov had um, rescued it from his shed after a flood and carefully placed it away in a, a beautiful box. And for years, he forgot where that box was. So after his death, the executors of his estate found the box at his laboratory, his office that he went to every day of his life. We only wish that Uncle Orv had known that we found his box. We heard this material was out there, and that was for us something that we had to really sort of chase. And this, this has been valued as priceless by many different auction houses, only being given away to key VIP. So Neil Armstrong, when he stood on the moon, he had a piece of the material sewn into his um, flying suit. And when he landed, it got handed back to the Wright family. When you get to feel that cloth for the first time, when you hold it, for me as an aviator, I imagine it's like holding the Turin shroud or something. It was just phenomenal. When you think about this in 1903, it just brings an incredible smile to your face. To, to figure out how to use a cloth and watch, it took a, a long, long time. You know, we've integrated wood, we've integrated obviously different types of metal into a watch. But integrating fabric is a whole nother ball game. By putting in that material on the back of the watch, it meant it wasn't going to be subjected to the sunlight on the dial, so it was going to protect it in a far better way. And it's not as though we're cutting up a piece of the original aircraft in the museum. This is material that uh, has been sitting in a safe deposit box. So we feel we're doing it credit and doing the Wright Brothers um, credit there. This is one project I generally think we're not going to be able to, because how can you? If you're, if you're saying, let's do a, an aviation limited edition, how can you beat using parts of the first ever airplane that flew? It's impossible. Mm -hmm.